that would probably be the most likely to be chosen on a test. So number 25, it says the expression v of x equals x cubed minus 13x plus 12 represents the volume of a rectangular safe in a cubic feet. The length of the safe is x plus 4. What linear expressions with, linear, uh, with integer coefficients would represent the other dimensions of the safe? Assume that the height is greater than the width. Huh? Well, in geometry, you guys hopefully learned how to like draw some prisms. That is. <laughs> OK, now remember, the volume is basically going to represent the space inside that box, right? Um, and they're telling us that the length of the safe, it doesn't really matter, guys. You can say, this is the width, this is the length, and this is the height. OK? Now, to, know, to understand this, we know that volume equals length times width times height. Would everybody agree with me? Yes? Yes? OK. So we know what one of the lengths is. We know that one of them is the length is x plus 4. And basically what they're saying is x plus 4 is um, x plus 4 times your times your width and times your height is equal to the volume of x cubed minus 13x plus 12. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's think about this. What types of problems, you know, how could we solve for w and h? What would, if you needed to solve for w and h, what could you do? You could divide by what? Your x plus 4. Do we know how to divide? x cubed minus 13x plus 12 divided by x plus 4? Yes. And then, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, do I have space over here? I do. So therefore, I'm just going to use negative 4. I'm going to use synthetic division. I'm going to use 1, um, 0, negative 13, and 12. Does everybody see why I use that 0? I don't have an x squared. So whenever you're missing an x squared, you've got to plug in a 0. So I bring down the first term, 1. Multiply my diagonals. 1 times negative 4 is negative 4. Add on my verticals. 0 plus negative 4 is negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 4 is a positive 16. Negative 13 plus 16 is a positive 3. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12, 0. Remainder, constant, linear, quadratic. So how many times does my length go in there? x squared minus 4x plus 3 times. But what is the question? The question is trying to say, well, basically, yeah, it's trying to say find the um, length in the, or the height and the width. So could I, if this is another factor, could I factor that down? Yes. Of course you could. So therefore, then the last thing is assume that the height is greater than the width. So which one is going to produce a larger value for different va values of x? x minus 1, right? So therefore, the height is greater than the width. So if this was given to you on your test, that's height, that's width, that's your length. Does that make sense? No? Yes? That's very probable on a problem that you would see on your test. Very, very probable. Hint, 